blessed, happy, fortunate, spiritually prosperous that is possessing the happiness produced by experience of God's favor and especially conditioned by the revelation of His grace, regardless of their outward conditions. Blessed are those guys who are pure in heart, for they shall see God. The pure in heart, for they shall see God. Matthew 5 verse 8. My question to you, what do you see today when looking at what is happening in the world with all the challenges, all the opinions, all the perspectives, all the guidance given by different people, professional people, church leaders, church people? What do you see today? How will you interpret what you see? That is very dangerous. Because according to your interpretation, according to that, you will position your heart in such a way that according to your heart, that's the way that you will live. When I have issues in my heart, I will interpret my circumstances, failures, people, relationships, the hurt that they could cause me and maybe did already. I could interpret that in a very deceived way where I definitely would not be able to see God where He is in that situation or where is the truth in that situation. Truth that can set me free. Truth that can take me higher with God. Truth that can launch me into tomorrow for that what God has for me. Because if I'm not living in truth today, I cannot be launched for godly destiny tomorrow. But only when I <clears throat> live in truth, in the truth of today, in the accurate perspective of today, then yes, I can have excellent destiny tomorrow. But that is called the pure in heart because they can see God, they can see God today, they can see God in tomorrow. Even if they don't have the explanation, even if they don't understand everything of tomorrow, they will be able to see Him. And in that, they will be satisfied. They will be fulfilled. May God work that in you. May God work that in me. In Jesus' name. The pure in heart. What does it mean? My brother, my sister, your master on the mountain is challenging you to sort out your heart so that you will see his hand on you, his hand with you, his hand holding you. So therefore, guard your heart. Or will you have the hand of deception, bitterness, negativity, your circumstances as the authority being a hand on your life? Will all of that destroy you without you even realizing it? Without you even realizing that there's some other hand on your life? that's impacting you and you don't even realize that. Run to God with your whole heart. Allow Him to touch you in a very intense way. John 14 verse 8 and 9, Philip said to God, show, show us the Father and that will be enough. Show us the Father and we will be satisfied. We will be fulfilled. Jesus said, if you've seen me, You've seen the Father. You have life's quality. You have received all blessings if you have seen me. Because by seeing me, you also have seen my Father. The purity, the state of your heart determines what you will expect even also to see in tomorrow. And then according to that, you will position your heart according to your own perspective of what you are seeing. Expect Him, Christ, in tomorrow. Live with that expectation today. But also because you have an eternal expectation of His second coming. But for today it's necessary so that you can truly say according to Philippians 1 verse 21, Today, life is Christ and die is gain. 
the death of my flesh today, for my flesh and my opinion to die today, my offense, my bitterness, my, my opinions, my way of dealing with things, for that to die is a gain. What is the gain? More of Christ, more of heaven flowing in and through me. Because in that place, in the death of myself, there's the life of Christ that can be seen. Is that not Galatians 2 verse 20? That says, I've been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but he lives in and through me. Life is Christ. Die is death is gain. Jesus Christ is the expression of the Father's heart. The pure in heart will see the expression of the Father's heart, Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, you will see the Father's heart when your heart truly, purely, and only belongs to your God. Enjoy that. Have a hunger for that. Push forward ahead. Give yourself, align your heart so that you will be able to see God today and understand eternal life, and that is to know Him, to know the Father and the one that He has sent. Today, in your work, in your relationships, in that what you experience, let it be so, for that is eternal life, according to John 17, verse 3. Have a blessed day.